In this video, I'm going to show you how I put dialogue into this video. Super cool. Brickology! Hey everybody, it's Thomas from Brickology. You know, audio plays a huge role in films. If you watch any Star Wars or sci-fi movie, you'll understand that without that lightsaber or the laser sounds, it's really hard to sell the dynamics or the actions of some movement. So today I'm going to go over how I record audio, but I'm going to focus mainly on dialogue. Later in another video, I'll work on sound effects and show you how I do that. But today, mainly dialogue. I'll show you the equipment that I use and how I put it all together. All right, let's get started. This is the audio interface that I use. Let me get this out of the way. This is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And right there on top, you'll see the brand Focusrite. This is a very simple, I think it's a two channel audio interface. It allows you to plug in microphones and this little adapter here input also allows you to plug in an instrument cable right there in the middle right there. It has phantom power that allows you to power the microphone, a condenser microphone. If you run a dynamic microphone, you don't need this power right here. Um, I'll show you which microphones I use in a bit. Um, but this thing has served me well for practically every video that I've done. It was around 150 bucks. You can probably find it cheaper. This is a fantastic piece of hardware. I highly recommend it. But really, all you need is something to get sound from outside using a microphone that will run into the computer. This is the condenser microphone that I use. This is a Studio Projects C3. Not sure if you can see it underneath there. Um, this is, was a really cheap microphone. I got it for about 250 bucks. I don't think they make it anymore, um, but this thing sounds fantastic. I th but Studio Projects still makes some wonderful microphones that are very, very cheap. And uh, like I said, they sound great. This is the dynamic microphone that I use. This is a Shure SM58, and it is a classic. Many people use it all over stages, rock bands. You'll find them on podiums. It's a great microphone. It's a dynamic microphone, so it doesn't need any power. So if you remember that phantom power that I was showing you on the Focusrite, well, you don't need it for a microphone like this. I use this on all of my older videos, the ones that I started off with and it still sounds wonderful. I use, still use it to record uh, sounds like, you know, tapping on a keyboard or glass or walking. Still a great microphone. I still use it and I'll continue to use it. One thing I would highly recommend is to record all your dialogue first. The sound effects, like let's say a crash or a car or a bang or something like that, you can do that later to time it perfectly. But with the dialogue, I would recommend recording it first. And that's what I'm doing right here. I've opened GarageBand on my Mac. I start a new track right here, you can see, and you can already see it's recording audio. And I'm going to record something really quick just to give you an idea of what I do and how it matches up with the stop motion. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. Exactly. All right. So there, I've got what Nurse 1 is going to say. Here's what Nurse 2 is going to say. I'm going to mute this. Here we go. Well, actually, let's cut this. Cut it. Oop. Cut it and move this over. So here we go. But there are only three pills. So now let's move this over. And I'm just editing this so it sounds smooth, like one conversation. And here we are in Dragon Frame. As you can see, there's my hand. I've got the scene all set up. And the next step for me is to import the audio. You need to take one of these pills every day for the... All right, so that's playing. So now I've got... If you see down here in Dragon Frame, it's really helpful. And there are other apps that you can use other programs. Um, uh, Stop Motion Studio is wonderful because it allows you to see the waveform as well down here. You need, you need, you need, you need. So after shooting the video, um, it I've done 55 frames, 54 frames up till now, and this is what I have. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. And again. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. So that's matching up with the first line that the nurse says. Now I'm going to switch camera angles and work on what the patient says. 
So I finished shooting this and let's see what it looks like. For the rest of- Yep, here we go. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. But there are only three pills. Exactly. So that is the bare bones of it all. And again, I'm going to stress that Dragon Frame, is allow Dragon Frame allows you to see the waveform, which is right here where the mouse is, mouse pointer is. So all the way down the line, I can see where I'm talking. Right here, right here, right here. And if you see on the first session, this is the first part of where the, the nurse talks. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. I wanted the nurse to freeze on the word life in order to make a point. And I can see where the word life starts, which is right here. Right here, that's where it starts. And so I just need to freeze him and repeat the frames, uh, six frames here to make him stop. So if we play it again. Rest of your life. And again. Rest of your life. So he makes that point. Then I know where to switch the camera and where to start making the patient talk. So this is where the patient starts talking. So after I do that, I export the entire movie and I'm going to go into Final Cut Pro. No, you know, let's do iMovie. I'm gonna go into iMovie right here because iMovie comes free on every Mac and you'll see how I cut the movie in here. And now we are here in iMovie. I have imported my video here, as you can see. First thing I generally do is I detach the audio. This way I can see the waveform a lot better and I can work with the audio separately than from the video. And the next thing I do, I want some background noises. So I go to a website called Sound Bible, soundbible.com. Everything here I have found for free and some of them are great little audio clips. So let's see this hospital, hospital, let's see what comes up. So we got all these different sounds for a hospital. Uh, what would work in the background? Uh, I don't know, I'm hawking loogie. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, maybe not use that one. Uh, I saw one back here, an ECG. Let's grab that and use that in the background. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is just really quickly done, I'm gonna take this and stick it right in here. Um, what I can do here at the end, we can do a little boing at the end. Or, or, there we go. Uh, let's take that and put it all the way at the end here, just for comedic effect. You need to take one of these pills every day for the rest of your life. But there are only three pills. Exactly. So be sure to record your audio, look cool, and make super cool movies. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Yes. Whoa. Right on.